What's up, family? A family whose teenage son died honored his memory in an unusual wake. His corpse was positioned in a chair facing a television screen. He had a video controller in his hand and next to him was his favorite snacks. Renard Matthews, 18 of New Orleans, Louisiana, was robbed and shot to death on the evening of June 25th while walking his dog. Matthews, whom a neighbor described as a nice young man, loved football and basketball, and his favorite athlete was Celtics guard Kyrie Irving. On Sunday, his wake presented a faithful reflection of his low-key lifestyle. The family had Matthews embalmed and placed in a stance that was typical for him. He was seated in a chair wearing an Irving jersey and sunglasses with a PlayStation controller in his hand, facing a television playing the Celtics. He was flanked by Doritos and soda. Although this was an unusual funeral, it was not an unusual request for this particular funeral home called Glapian. This is the same funeral home that hosted the black woman who was in her 50s, Miriam May May Burbank. She had her funeral sitting at a table with some menthol cigarettes and a drink. And she they had the game on. Uh, it was a, I guess, a video recording of the Saints. She was a Saints fan and she had her fingernails painted in Saints colors. Why these people crazy about these damn sports teams? And then I remember another, a guy who was a motorcycle enthusiast. His family funeralized him sitting on, sitting upright on a motorcycle, walking to the funeral home, and he's right there sitting on the motorcycle facing you. Like, mm, like, got his head down and everything. Then there was the guy who was a uh, fan of the Green Lantern, and that dude. <laughs> He got buried in a Green Lantern suit uh, where he was funeralized. Well, he, yeah, he was, he was buried in the suit, but he was also funeralized sitting in his car behind the wheel in the suit. So these people go, they, they go all the way in, man. They're going all the way in and all the way out on these funerals. Some people say that this is what that person would have wanted. I don't particularly agree with that, unless that person actually said it, because I'm a boxing enthusiast. I love boxing, but I would hunt any damn body for the rest of their life, their natural life, if they tried to bury me in a damn boxing ring. Well, not bury me in a boxing ring, but have the funeral with a with me sitting in a corner in a boxing ring with gloves on and shorts. Man, <laughs> come on, man. That's too far. That's not what I would have wanted. That's what they wanted, I do believe. But if a person want to go out like that, hell, I say let them go out like that. If that's what they want and the family can live with it, go for it. I do believe that these funerals are mainly for family members. It's really family, like they try to do it in the way that the family would want it done. All I ask is that immediately after my service, I'm cremated. I don't want nobody digging around my grave. I don't want to be having, I don't want my kids feeling that they have to come to the funeral, uh, to the grave site to visit me. I'm, particular days like birthdays and death anniversaries and all that. I don't, Father's Day, no. I'm good. I came, I saw, I kicked ass, and I got on up out of here. And I just want to leave them with the memories and the lessons that I taught. I'm good with that. What say you? What do y'all think about this? Is this something that you would ever consider for yourself? Leave your comments.
No more talk. What the haters talking about?